Bianco. He is the president of Bianco Research. And, and Jim, you know, when we look at the numbers and the jobless claims, um, the other numbers uh, that track employment, this is just this is this is just was out of nowhere, right? I mean, this was like an asteroid. Um, so, what what explains it? Is this is this as good as it seems? Well, when we were looking at the other numbers, there was always a mystery in those numbers. 41 million people filed for unemployment claims since mid-March, but only 21 million people were on continuing claims, meaning they were getting them week after week. What happened to the other 20 million? The answer came today. It was the purchasing, the PPP, the Payment Protection Plan, that employers got their loans. Part of the rules on their loans is they have to hire back their staff spend 75% of that loan on uh, salary. So a lot of people were called back to work. That doesn't mean they were working. That means they were called back to work and they're getting paid through their employer. That's better than getting unemployment insurance. You're still engaged in your job. But now the question becomes, what happens when those loans run out? Has the economy recovered enough so that those employers feel that their staffing levels are justified or will we see another round of layoffs? This is such an unprecedented time. We'll only have to wait and see to see how much the economy does recover as the restart progresses. Right, so in a sense, the PPP worked the way it should, keep people off unemployment, have them paid by the employer, but essentially they're still unemployed. I mean, there's no demand for their job, right? I mean, they're being paid to, didn't, to not work in many cases. So let me just ask you, they did um, just stretch out now the, the terms of the PPP loan, so they have even longer to do that. So when are we really gonna know? Yeah, they've got 24 weeks or basically to the end of the year now to use up all of the money. Before it was, when you got the loan, you had eight weeks to get everybody back. We probably won't know until the fall uh, whether, you know, once the economy is fully restarted and when you start talking about it in past tense that it's restarted and we'll see how many people are actually called back to work, how many businesses have actually failed, how many people uh, who think their jobs are temporarily furloughed are permanently furloughed, how many people are going to be laid off because maybe that restaurant that has 50 employees doesn't need 50 once they start going. They only need 30. So there's going to be some kind of layoffs. So it'll be several months before it goes. Look, this is better than the alternative. It was better than yeah. us printing 20 percent unemployment, but it's really a to be continued kind of story with everybody kind of in a holding pattern, getting paid through their employer, not necessarily to work, but to wait and see what happens with the restart. But basically another six months until we may know, which is obviously um, I I crucial. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time, Jim, as always. Thank you.